It's called Drive-By Cinema, DBC. Um, no one else in the country that we know of is doing this. And actually the idea came from um, somebody who, who used to work for me and he passed away a couple of years ago from cancer. And he had this ridiculous idea because he saw that these milk trucks were being sold on eBay and he wanted us to buy three of them. They were $800 a piece. Let's buy three, two of them for extra parts and we'll just paint them white and we'll drive them around town and then we'll like just do this guerrilla film screening and just project films on this truck. And I'm like, George, you are absolutely crazy. But he loved, you know, the idea and that spirit, that punk rock spirit of bringing film to the people and making it accessible. He passed away and that, that idea has always stuck in my mind. And so as our organization got bigger and bigger, we had the opportunity to apply for some funding for this truck. Uh, we called it Drive-By Cinema. Uh, you know, kind of like, we don't mean it to be like a drive-by shooting in, in like that negative sense, but the drive-by meaning like drive-by movies or that we're driving by your community and bringing film into your community. So sometimes we do it by complete surprise. We'll just come into a community, set it up. We have a popcorn machine. The truck also turns into like a mahjong, you know, um, playing ground, um, a photo booth. Um, sometimes we can do video games inside the truck as the su sun is setting. And there is a little bit of an art in just setting up the, the truck itself too. So we have these people called digital nomads who are all dressed up and they all wear lab coats because this is, um, you know, it's a community experiment, right? So, so these weird people wearing, you know, these white lab coats jumping out of this truck popping popcorn, making music, turning on lights, setting up a screen, and people are like, what the heck is going on? Oh my God, it's film! It's a film bombing! <laughs> and so that's what we do. We bring, we bring the magic of film back into these communities. And it's really amazing because people will come out and say, you know, I remember, you know, this movie theater that used to be a couple blocks down here paying 25 cents to go, to go see it every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And and then for these little children to be with these older people and having a safe space where people can just convene, that's the idea of the movie truck. Um, then we do some other like really crazy things such as, um, which are semi-illegal. We can rig the truck <laughs> so that it's driving and showing a movie at the same time. And we did that during Comic-Con um, here. We showed uh, Godzilla versus Mothra and more than 100,000 people. They were, I mean, we were on YouTube, we were on, uh, you know, just everybody's blogs. John Leguizamo tweeted us from his balcony, like, this town has happened, check this out. It was so cool. Um, and it's, it's really about community engagement, you know? So we can't assume that people are gonna come to the four walls of a cinema. We now have to come to them, just because technology has changed the behavior and the way that we consume films. And, uh, you know, and like I said, it's not just about the movies. It's about touching people and touching people's lives. And so we're literally driving out that message through our drive-by cinema truck.